so did you ever think like and I don't know if you ever had these kind of conversations with anybody, but did you ever think TNA is going to be have to shop around to get on television? Ring of Honor is going to have to shop around to get a TV deal. Is that something that was going through your head consciously in the early years, or yeah, even from, from Jump Street, I kind of I, I I was kind of aware. Just uh, I was I was able to look at the wrestling landscape and know like these those are both destination places for me for different reasons. Mm-hmm. Uh, de- definitely TNA. Uh, or definitely Ring of Honor more so than TNA, but they were destination places for me nonetheless. Uh, but I knew that their success was going to be predicated on whether or not they can break through the pro wrestling niche bubble and get to a wider audience. And, and the for, only way to for people who you know are hearing this, because there's a lot of people who are only fans of the last five, ten, even fifteen years, they might not understand the internet was. I mean, it was around, yeah. but it was still in its infancy, and you know, it wasn't. You didn't have the streaming services that you have yeah. now. Wrestling was a lot less accessible, and even 100%. wrestling television, they weren't paying. Like, you look at the money WWE is making for Raw and SmackDown; it's incredible. People are paying for wrestling now. It wasn't always like that. Wrestling used to have to pay to be on TV. Absolutely, and you got. I mean, and just the way. I mean, and, and I've, I've broken this down a hundred times, but just the way that television is consumed now is mm-hmm. so much different than, you know, like th- there's a lot of uh, Mondays or Tuesdays or Wednesdays that, you know, or Fridays that I'm busy, you know, especially like Fridays when there's, you know, with Rampage and SmackDown, you know, mm-hmm. I can't tell you how many, you know, I'm booked. Yeah. So I, I, you know, back in the day, I would set my VCR or set my, you know, cassette recorder or whatever to, record the show and then i'd watch it at my leisure but now i mean i you know i just it's it streams i can watch it whenever i want to i don't have to deal with with you know hitting the record button on my vcr or anything like that so it's just the the consumption of wrestling has has evolved just like everything else within the business and the accessibility has evolved because you know back in those days if you if you forgot to record SmackDown, you know, yeah. then it's it's over for you. You you're just not going to get to watch it. It had to be appointment to... viewing. It had to exactly. be, otherwise you weren't going to exactly. be able to see it. And yes. it, you know, nowadays it's just it's so much. It's so different. Like it's you see people like will always point to ratings in the past, but it's just it's not a comparable situation. The world evolves. Yeah, it, It'd be like comparing 1990s ratings to the 50s. It's just exactly. the channels change, lifestyles change, everything well, changes. Just, the thing is, like, you know, you, you, uh, I've, I'm pretty sure you've heard them too. The stories of like Memphis in the 80s, where yeah. seven, 70% of homes were tuned in to watch Memphis wrestling yeah. every Saturday. And you're like, 70% of the, 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 the 70% of televisions were tuned into that, but it's, there was four channels. Yeah, seventy <laughs> percent. I mean, it's still incredible. <laughs> you know, but... it's still like it's nothing to bat an eye at. And I mean, I'm pretty sure Jerry Lawler's doing okay with the <laughs> with all of it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's just you're comparing apples and churches. I yeah. mean, it's just two completely different worlds. It it just it evolves, you know. And then if you look at the social media impact again, I, I point to WWE more than everything because they are the you know figurehead in wrestling and absolutely always will be. But you look at just, they put out a bunch of stats about Survivor Series and Clash of the Castle. And, you know, they're on Peacock now and their views are 50%, yeah. 100% higher than they were before. You know, it's it's just, it's a different kind of business. It, absolutely. Uh, but as long as it's making money, you, you call it whatever you want. I don't care. Yeah. 